function notation and function evaluation. Function notation accomplishes as a number of things at once. It gives a name to the function being defined. It provides a formula to work with when using the function. It makes the solving of many, many mathematical problems far easier. For example, let's consider the function 10x minus 5y equals 15. And we're going to solve for y as a general process. We leave the negative 5y on the left, and we subtract both sides by 10x to get negative 5y equals negative 10x plus 15, then divide both sides by negative 5. we get the y equals 2x minus 3. And replace the y with the f of x. Therefore, we have the function f of x equals 2x minus 3. The x is an input, and we call it the independent variable. y is the output. We call it the dependent variable. For the example, we write the following relations as a function of the x, set the domain, and then evaluate the function at x equals negative 1. For example, we are going to solve for y. By subtracting x squared both sides to get y equals negative x squared minus 2x minus y, and then collect the y terms by adding y both sides to get 2y on the left equals negative x squared minus 2x. And after that, we divide both sides by 2. We get y equals negative 1 over 2 times x squared minus 1 times x or minus x and then replace y with the notation f of x. fx equals negative one half x squared minus x as the function of x for this relation. Next, we're gonna set the domain. Domain is the set of the x value. In this case, x can be any numbers. Therefore, the domain of this function, we use the domain, the notation D as the domain, subscript F as the domain of the function F, is the set of all real numbers. And next, we are going to evaluate the function at x equals negative one. So F at negative one equals negative one half, replace x with the negative one squared and then minus negative one. As you see, x as the input, the input is negative one. We square the negative one for the first term and then subtract by negative one for the second term. To finish the computation, we got negative one multiplied by one and then plus one equals negative one half plus one or we get one half as a function of negative one. And this implies the order pair on the graph gonna be negative one comma one half. And when we look at the graph of this function, it confirms the domain as a set of all real numbers. It could be any number as negative, positive, or zero. And the function value at negative one is the value one half, which is over there.